Phasmophobia, I'm playing on a different TV. We had to bust out a TV in the garage because my TV that I was playing on, the Blood and Bacon recordings, which uh, actually come to think of it, those will probably be released to the public two months ahead of this thing's release. So to date this recording, I'm actually recording this at near the ass end of 2023. I just have such a tremendous backlog of Phasmophobia. This is going to go up in March of 2024. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's for one thing, it's Christmas, so, you know, you, you can't be expected to do a bunch of recordings at Christmas time. Yeah. I mean, even though we do, but, you know. But, yeah. But, yeah. Um, I'm be, sorry. Uh, no, go ahead. You go ahead. I'm just going to say it's going to be a different situation for me. I This screen is in a bit of a different position. I have a little bit more of a direct. I, I might be seeing things better or worse. Let's see. I've also got some difficulties of my own. Uh, the reason my sound wasn't working yesterday was because uh, I, <laughs> I had a an Xbox 360 controller plugged into one type of USB port on my controller as opposed to the other one. So, you know, of course my microphone wasn't working right. Oh, I've had that with computers before where it's like... Are you serious? I have definitely had computers before where if I plug in the microphone in one USB slot, it's like, no, no, we're not getting anything. But if I plug it in on another, it's like, yep, yep, you're good. Oh, no, 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 no. My 360 controller being plugged in was screwing up my microphone. The 360 controller being in my USB 3.0 uh, uh, input was screwing up the microphone. So in plugging in, not the microphone, but the 360 controller into the 2.0 port worked. Your silence indicates that you make as much sense of that as I do. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm also mixed yeah. up. Has anyone noticed the floating dots, uh, the floating ultraviolet projector? Yeah, I don't know how I did that, but it's there for now. <laughs> well, it's gone now. Oh, Fuck it. it up. Oh, you grabbed it from thin air. Fuck it. Um, I, I when... couldn't grab it from thin air. It was like it didn't <laughs> exist for me, but it was clearly there. That's bizarre. One other thing I need to indicate here is that uh, I didn't really choose to switch to my 360 controller. The cord, well, you already know this, Pink, but uh, Alex, the cord that I normally have my uh, Xbox One controller connected to is a detachable cord, and it got fucked up. So I had to switch to, again, talking about backups, I uh, had to switch to a backup. The only corded controller I have is the old 360 controller. And I forgot, it has drift, significant drift issues on both sticks. Ooh. Like, if I tap, yeah, uh, it looks as if it's harder on the camera than the movement. I don't know if that's better or worse. Like, every five or six times that I tap any direction on the movement stick, my character just moves on his own, and literally any time I touch the stick... Okay, nine times out of ten when I touch the camera stick, it's moving on its own. So, if, if something is strange based on the way I played today, that might be why. Just a heads up. Yeah. Roger that. Yeah, I'll try not to get everyone killed by evil spirits because of my fucking controller, but <laughs> I'll do what I can. There's only uh, gonna... so much we can do, and who is funding this operation today anyway? I am. What's your... hmm. All right. Those um, are my underlinings my on the right. Did you say your underlinings? Those are my underlines on the right. Oh, your underlines. Close enough. Yeah. All right. So, Alex, how was your Christmas? Pretty good. Good. Uh, got a couple books. Got a video game. Got a couple miniatures. All nice. Yeah. What was the game? Uh, Lies of P. It is a effectively. So the Dark Souls guys made Bloodborne in 2015. Bloodborne's very good. Uh, it's one of my favorites. One of my top five favorite games of all time. I fucking love oh, wow. it. However, they have been busy with Dark Souls and Armored Core ever since. And Elden Ring and Sekiro, among other things. So they've never, they have not in the eight years since 2015, soon to be nine years since 2015. Oh God, um, <laughs> they have not made a sequel. Lies of P was made as a sequel by another dev team in Korea, and unlike many uh, ripoffs, it, you, you, there's like you can tell something's quality based off whether it's referred to as a ripoff or spiritual sequel, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they used to call it homage. Right, right. Yeah, right, right, Pink. Well, Lies, exactly of, right. Lies of P is in the spiritual successor homage category. <laughs> uh, pe other people have called it, jokingly called it Twink Bloodborne because the P in Lies of P is you're playing as, effectively, it, it's supposed to be like a dark mythical take on Pinocchio. So, the pretty boy on the cover of the game that you're playing as in the game is Pinocchio. 
Pinocchio is a twink? Well, he's he's, he's a, news to me. He's a pretty he's boy. A twink. He's a pink. He he he's a manufactured oh, no. twink. A robo twink. <laughs> he's a rink or a yes. mink. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've put a couple hours into the game. It's quite good so far. Cool. I do not know. The, there is a mechanic in the plot line where repeatedly you're offered the choice to lie or tell the truth. I keep lying. I want to see if the character's nose actually expands in game with every lie you tell. I, I would assume. <laughs> I mean, being that the whole gimmick is about Pinocchio, you, you'd think it would have to be that way. Especially if there's if there's a lie option. Th that's got to be in it. Yeah. I mean, I'd frankly be disappointed if that wasn't the case. Oh man, I forget. It's been a little bit since we played Phasmo. I forgot about the snowman. Oh yeah, we, and we were working so hard on that first night. Yeah. So why do we have still have the cre crappy rinky dink thermometers? If I paid for the new ones. Wait, do we? I, I got a good one. Oh. Did we only bring the one? Oh, I think it did that doofy thing. It was thing like where... Alex brought one of uh, each type of the. Uh, oh. I'm that might to... be. Well, if Pink's the host of the game, probably it's considering his item choices first. And even though Pink didn't bit, buy anything, he still is choosing to bring the tier one thermostat. Oh, okay. That that could be it. I'm uh, yeah. heading towards the garage. My my controller is so fucked up. <laughs> I'm I'm fighting it. I, I I have to fight it to be able to. My character won't even just stand still and stay straight. This is this is gonna be difficult. I'll I'll do what I can to make sure that not everyone gets killed. I would. Uh, I'm not worrying too much. Oh, I I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. I, I have no idea why this didn't come up oh, during uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, all out here. Oh, good. I'll get a picture of it. Your controller's making sure to ice skate in front of the snowmen to impress them. <laughs> Being a snowy uh, type of creature, they, they, they appreciate any kind of snowbound activities like ice skating. Okay, nothing so far. The living room was warm. The uh, piano room was warm. About uh, downstairs. The entire upper Basically. stairs was warm. The entire upstairs rooms were warm. Okay. Yeah, g garage is chillier, but still about Was well, there anybody in this uh, basement? Because the lights were on. I have not been. I, I haven't been either. Got a few lights on in here. Okay, good chance it's the basement. Uh, temps aren't moving, though. No, yeah, I just got a 63. The ghost what? can switch lights elsewhere, but only when it's roaming. I think. I don't, I don't think there's well, any control lights other than... Oh, <laughs> twins, I forgot, yeah. Wait, do we know if the... Tw if uh, So, have we ever found two different locations for the twins' temperature? Have we ever been able to find that out? I if both twins produce colder temps? It's screwy. I want to say the gimmick for the twins actually isn't so much that there's two ghosts, so much as it is just that one ghost has fucking Mr. Fantastic reach. Okay. Okay, this is getting a bit too. I'm gonna go for the truck. I'm gonna leave this book here and my thermometer here. And uh, you, you sound uh, resigned. You, you were about to say this is uh, what were you saying? This is what? I, I'm this just saying this bullshit. is. <laughs> this, this is some fucking bullshit. I'm going back to the truck. Now, I was saying pretty much that when we were playing Dead by Daylight today. <laughs> I, I always, if we go that long without finding the ghost, I'm always worried. Like I don't want to explode. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, it can happen. If I wasn't the I, one bankrolling, then I wouldn't be too worried about it, but I am the one bankrolling. I, I also think it's funny that, that you seem extra sensitive to the to the as you say it exploding. And and I, I wonder if that is because of the of the incident that we had last time and well not last time, but the time that uh, you were in this very map and the demon got you without any real real warning. Uh yeah, that one was brutal. And to be fair, that one I can also very cleanly look back at and see. Oh, I made a mistake by not really hiding, because I was just sitting in the corner, but I wasn't aware of the whole thing of, like, oh, if the ghost just straight up sees you, you're dead. Yeah, if it gets line of sight, then then it will follow that line of sight. doesn't matter how far away you are, doesn't matter if you have the lights on or not, if, if you're there and you're not in a hiding spot, it will see you and it will come for you. I'm going to sit in the van for a couple minutes, because I uh, hit some readjustments on the settings when I was trying oh, to Jesus. fix my uh, We're all having mouth issues here. issue. Yeah, and now I'm getting yeah. a lot of screen tear, so I'm gonna make an attempt to fix that. Okay, yeah, take your time. That's fine. I'm uh, still looking. Do I want V-Sync on or off? What is V-Sync? V-Sync is what causes the screen tearing. 
what V-Sync is what prevents the screen tearing no, or no, causes. You're, I, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Well, I <laughs> yeah. want that turned on. Yeah, you want it not to smooth your your turning. All right. Yeah, uh, V-Sync uh, anti-aliasing. Sharper anti edges around objects. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Act... See, you know what you're talking about. You take over, Alex. Uh, the activity has been broadly zero. It was three for a minute there. Uh, and I think you and I both have about as much experience in PC gaming at this point. I, I think so. These... I've been playing exclusively. Uh, what sorry, are these go options? ahead. I got FX double A, SM double A, MS double A. Uh, those, those are, are uh, anti aliasing techniques. That, 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 yeah. That, yeah. Some are more, some are more effective. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I think there's arguments over which methods are the best. So some games will just try to throw in every anti aliasing software method. That is true. Ah. I know with Total War, like the most processing heavy one. Like, actually doesn't make any difference, and sometimes it's even worse, I think is generally the case. So, like, in Total War Warhammer, it's usually advised, don't go with MSAA or TAA or whatever, go with the other one. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's MSAA, T something AA, FX AA, I think. Yeah. I yeah. don't know what any of that shit is. Yeah, they're pretty well just giving you different formulas. Now, a funny, uh, well, really quick, uh, game-wise, just so you guys know, I have not found a cold temperature literally anywhere, not in I... any room yet. Oh, I just found it in the garage. Oh, it's not freezing, God. but it is cold. Okay, is cold. by changing my uh, settings Activity for the video, up. it changed my mouse sensitivity back to where I'm sluggish again, and I'm not... <laughs> that sucks. Snap That's what you get for your graphics. What is That's going on today? I don't it's... know. The ghost is... We, it took us the, uh, so long to find the ghost because the ghost wasn't in the house. It was in real life haunting us and decided to get back in the game. <laughs> It was over here fucking with my controller, then it moved down to Pink's video settings. First it took your TV. Yeah, that was really... I hope it doesn't do that again. I hope the exorcists exercise this ghost super hard. <laughs> They're gonna come in with their, uh, you know, their 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 Pope uh, collars and their robes or whatever. I picture them in robes for some reason, I don't know why. They're not gonna be wearing, like, suits and shit. They're gonna be wearing, like, like priest robes. They're gonna look like the Pope. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're they're gonna come in and they're gonna be you know like like yelling at the ghost to get away or whatever. And then they're gonna be like you know and and, and give Alex back his TV. We command you, and, and quit fucking with the game settings. No, oh, damn it, no. Whoops. Uh, I hit fuse box the off. Did you blow the fuse? Oh, that was a fuse I, box. I, fused, I blew the fuse box. Yes. That's all right. You're okay. you're up by Alex. Do you know where it's at in there? Uh, no, I don't. I just spent two crosses upon the floor. Oh, okay. I'll go back and get it. Um, the other thing I was going to say, uh, is, uh, you guys are talking about the, the graphic settings. Uh, I have had my first game, uh, Cyberpunk, I, I neglect, the, ah, neglected to tell you guys, Cyberpunk uses not only ray tracing, which I always made fun of, but also path tracing, for fuck's sake. So it has what? every kind of tracing. Now, ray tracing, I know what that does, this trying to track rays of light. What the hell is path tracing? I, I, if I understand it correctly, it's just got oh. a ghost event. Ghost ball. A, a hiss, yeah, ghost ball. Um, if I understand it correctly, the path Mike tracing did, is like... Mike, do drugs. Really drugs already. Okay, I'm on the way. We spent um, a long time wandering in the dark. We did, that is true. Did we even get the fuse box? Uh, I hit the it, and then it seems like it went dark again. Oh, the lights oh. are on, okay. Oh, no, wait, no, the lights oh. aren't on. I left a flashlight next to the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. I, 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 like, just as soon as I got the garage, I got the ghost, or I'm sorry, the fuse box, I got the ghost ball, so I think it might have turned them off again. Okay. Okay, well, Fucking, we can be from Jen. Okay, that's good. Well, now, remember, though, I did, oh, because of the, right, I got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I don't have freezing temps yet, but yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, Jen never turns off fuse box. Right. Um... Uh, to answer the question, I, I believe path tracing pa uh, traces the path of, I think, the this light. This is a very ends. active ghost, because I just went and turned on the light, he turned it off, and then threw a ghost ball at me. Oh, shit. Uh, we can it's also pretty so Pink do drugs. Slowly. Pink do drugs. Let me check my sanity, too. I just Ooh, took the I drugs, plummeted. but I don't know what I'm at, too. We can Could also this be the... We can also go ahead, Alex. We can also deconfirm Oni, because Oni never does ghost ball. Really? Okay. Yeah. I read that. With my reading eyes. Oh, man. That's <laughs> impressive. Um, could this potentially be the ghost? Oh, I guess we don't know yet, since we don't have any evidence yet, but I'm, I guess I'm wondering aloud if this could be the ghost that uh, has more damage to sanity when it does stuff. Well, that could be a couple. That haunt uh, Oni, Yure, uh, I think the Phantom or somebody. 
Oh no, Phantom does more sanity damage when they directly appear. None of, none of us have directly seen the ghost. Okay. Uh, worth noting for sure, uh, it did not get the fuse box. It actually just turned off the light in here. And this apparently was the only light we had on in the house. So it did not turn off the fuse box. Okay, oh. de-eliminate de Jin. Yeah, we can't be sure. I came in here, I'm in the garage now, and the fuse box was on. Let's get some, get some lights turned on in here. Where's the yeah, hall light? Yeah, not a bad idea. Uh, hall light? Where is the... Oh, there you go, yeah. I'm gonna throw the book in there. I'm gonna throw the book at the ghost. <laughs> the, oh, I've got a book already, so I'll drop that. Oh, wow. Go okay, the, the ghost is walking... There it comes. It's coming at me with a fucking cudgel. That was a horrifying hiss. Even the one that was coming, that made my hair stand up. Wow. That that, that was spooky. Uh, Mike, your sanity no only you went do. down. Mike, your sanity only went down by, by about 10, so I'm betting not fancy. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I was in there, the doors closed, the lights flickered, and the ghost just strolled right up to me and hissed a very loud, screechy hiss. I did not see any UV, but I'm not going to rule that out just yet, because who knows with that. Uh, it did step in the... Oh, we got a book. We have the book. Oh, ghost riding? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go run and grab an EMF real quick. Don't die. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll try to avoid it. Oh, I have an EMF right here. Oh. Sorry, I've well, got one. march right back in there. I'll just uh, check things out with UV. All right. I got another ghost event. It really is getting active. He, he's been active, like, since we found, found the room. Yeah. yeah. My... It's like once we found him suddenly... Oh, do I need drugs again? Drugs. Okay, shit. I know sometimes it can really seem like a mother in you guys, but I'm just trying to. No, 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 no not at all, not at all. Do you have a camera set up there? Uh, uh yeah, right there. in front of you, right in front of you. Yeah, I was going to ask for somebody to move it, but I decided to wait until nobody was busy with anything. There's another ghost orb for me. Okay. Oh, you found uh, orb. Ball or orb? Oh, oh, ball, 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 Hiss. ball, Hiss ball, Hiss ball. Hiss ball. Yeah, Hiss it is easy to confuse the two because it is basically a big orb. Yeah. Okay, we need to we need to keep the uh the them separate in our mind. There's gorbs and there's hiss ball. <laughs> Gorb. I mean it really is. I we need to get uh, the, our ghost uh, our ghost hunting uh vernacular or, vernacular down so that whenever <laughs> we write reports to the exorcist it's just like indecipherable like nonsense. <laughs> right. All right. Gorbs in the halls. I th we got ghost orbs. We got ghost orbs. Oh, we do. Saw, okay, so saw an orb? Yeah. Yep, I've seen several. Check out by the car window. I'll see a car window. <laughs> like, look at the doorknob, then immediately above the doorknob is a part of the car window. And every now and again, you'll see a little ghost orb pop out of the car window. Okay, this monitor has a much higher see? bright... Oh, yep, I did see it. I did see it. You're right. Okay, then it's the Mare, Revenant, or Thay. We can rule out EMF. Well, hang on just a minute. Let's see. Does Mimic... Mimic doesn't have writing. Okay, Mimic is eliminated. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? We can rule out uh, EMF and Ultraviolet. Uh, okay. Now, between these three, Revenant and Thay are both very aggressive. Ah. Uh. I'm going to be real here. I think... Uh, Mike, you need to do drugs. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't done a second one yet. You're right. Uh, Thay, honestly, Maybe. I would almost be inclined to say that the Thay would have attacked us by now. Because the Thay has a much higher... The Thay starts out with its hunt threshold at, like, 75. Oh, yeah. But the threshold goes down the longer that somebody is in in, in the ghost proximity. Hmm. Well, well I guess we're just going to have to... Uh... Let's yeah, see. I'm willing to do some more, for sure. Uh, and, well, we move the, hang on. I can move the camera and dots more into the actual room. Okay. And then we can observe for dots, and if we don't see dots after a while, we'll just call it as not being whichever one has dots. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and say Mare is the one that loves the dark and hates the light. This one has hit the lights a couple times. It has hit the lights. That it has. Hmm. And we do have challenges to get it to go set off the motion sensor and to get it to blow out a candle. Uh, I'll go in there with it. Well, I was going to do uh, the spirit box at some point if no one else yeah, wanted to. Do we to have it. any uh, crucifixes set up in there? Uh, I, I put think. two. I put two right under the motion sensor. All right. I I've, I've still got open hands, but I'm going to take a smudgy stick in there as well, just in case. 
It's probably a good idea to smudge it and set up a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. hurt. I, I foolishly left my thermometer. So, oh, here it is. I found it. Can we get the uh, light on in this main room? Yes. If my okay. character would stop fucking wiggling. God, this. I, I don't know how he didn't have drift when he played Dead by Daylight. I guess I was doing too many things that prevent it from being obvious. Uh, right. Drift kicks in whenever you're not pressing the stick in any direction, right? Uh, for me, it's like, like as soon as I touch the stick at all, it'll start drifting. I have to I keep wiggling it again to make it stop. Don't do anything without me. I forget the candle. We'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I guess I might as well wait. No no reason not to. Hmm. Now, I think it's part... So... For no, what it's ahead. worth, on the odd chance that the phase hunt threshold didn't trigger, it has... It got really aggressive early on, and it does seem to sl be slowing down somewhat. That is part of the phase gimmick. Uh, well, have we been in, though, enough for it to have slowed down? A after it hunted us a couple... Well, not hunt, I should say. After it, like, did the ghost ball stuff at us, we haven't really been back in that room, have we? Hmm. Not really. All right, candle is set. I'm moving not so you're dots. not right, Alex, but you never yeah. know. I'm moving the dots over here. Okay, I'll come in with my thermometer again. Because I don't even have inside. freezing temperatures. Uh, well, oh, we got oh, dots! Oh, dots, 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 dots! Okay, dots. It is they. It is they. It is the bitch. Hey, good, good call. Okay, uh, it being they, pink do drugs. Uh, but they, that is good because that means the longer. That means it's perhaps not a ghost we should be so scared of since we have been in there a decent amount of time now. Okay. I'm it, waiting to get a picture of the candle if it's going to blow it out. I f the Thay almost is kind of like the opposite of the demon in some sense, in terms of, like, once you're aware of the demon, it's like, ah, shit, get, make a run for it. Once you're aware of the Thay, right. it's like, okay, if we were made aware of it at all, then it's already significantly lessened, lessened in, a th in terms of being a threat. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Now, uh, we just need a motion sensor and a candle in there to get it to set both of those off, and then we will be, be good to I go. I a candle in there. I'm setting up a uh, motion sensor now. Did you happen to see the ghost coming at you with the dots just now? Uh, I didn't notice it just now, but I saw it earlier. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it actually came walking in uh, right, like you basically butted heads with each other. Ah. I, I, I half-assedly got a picture that actually wound up being pretty good uh, of the do of ghost walking through the dots. Sweet. Why can I not yeah. place this down here? What are you trying oh. to do? I tried to place a motion sensor down, and then it just deleted itself from my inventory. I'll be right back. Oh, man. I wonder if it fell through the floor again, as happens in this game more than it should. <laughs> yeah. That's like the one thing so far that, I mean, this game's really good in terms of glitches. There basically aren't any, except for that one. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that one I, that one, I, I have to assume that one's also probably a pretty difficult one to, I mean, clipping bugs. Okay, never mind. I don't need to bring in another motion sensor. I'll bring another uh, candle. Yeah, because it's not blowing this one out. I don't know why. I guess just... I not. Are there some ghosts that won't? Uh, Not necessarily so much, but the Thay, the longer we spend it in its proximity, the less active the less it gets. active, right. I wasn't thinking about that in terms of the candle. That would make sense. Yeah, because we're probably... like it's but The Thay is supposed to have a gimmick where it starts young and turns old. And young is when it's active and it hunts a lot. Old is when it slows down. And it stops uh. being active, it gets a much lower hunt threshold. I think we're getting to the point where we're making the Fae pretty old. Interesting. Uh, I, I like that little bit of lore behind the character's uh, methodology. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, uh, the Fae is one of the ones that's considered to be really easy to solve if you have the Ouija board and you don't even need evidence types. If you ask the Ouija board, how old are you, and it replies young, and then later in the same game it replies old instead. We cleared the challenge, by the way, Mike. You can, you're good yeah, to Yeah, I back. just saw, yeah. I, I, I was hesitating because I wasn't sure if the one candle was blown out, but then just as you were saying that, the second candle got blown out. So I knew it wasn't just a timing thing. Yeah, yeah. It, but yeah, yeah. If, you, if you ask the ghost what, ghost what age it is and w twice, and it says young one time, then old another time, you know that it's Thay, because Thay's the only ghost that will change its age. That's really cool. See, I, I know that when you, the spirit box used to be random in terms of you'd throw it down and it would just say random things like hurt, old, etc. I don't know if it ever, like, I didn't test enough to see if it went from young to old then, but now just knowing the fact that it does specifically go from young to old, that that's cool that it, that is not random. I think that's really well, cool that it'll actually... In, this, in the Thay's case, you have to use the Ouija board because the Thay is not a spirit box ghost. Oh, I'm sorry, you did say the Ouija board. Right, right, right. 
Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, you know, on the rare occasion we do get the Ouija board, not the fucking voodoo doll or the fucking summon circle. Right. <laughs> really quick, just because I'm only moderately proud of it, this picture here. Well, I don't know if you'll see it, because our pictures always change, but I took a picture of uh, the ghost, uh, the dots. You see the, the dots walking through the middle of that garage. I don't. Yeah. No. I the, I oh, the there, that right one. That side. one looks, that one's perfect. Damn. Yeah, it, it's, it's a shot of the ghost silhouette, basically, like strolling right past the middle of the camera. Yeah, that one, that shot right there that I'm looking at now looks like you're being attacked by a fucking Metal Gear Solid enemy. Ah, I didn't nah. think of it. You're right. It totally does. That's like, cool. I'm, th I'm looking at that and I'm thinking Otacon calling Snake in the elevator. Snake, they're in there with you. Oh, yeah. It totally looks like that. I would have never thought of that. That's cool. All right. Everyone, make sure to circle Thay. Let me double I check. Got it. I'm pretty sure I got it, but let me check again. Yeah, I got it. Let's rock. Successful first hunt of the night. Three perfect challenges. We got the bone. We got a picture of the bone. We got a picture of the ghost. We got, got a picture the, of salt. We got, we got the, the voodoo uh, doll. Voodoo doll. We got everything you could. We really did. I got dedicated. Complete 30 tasks. An absolute daily slam tasks. dunk. Yeah, that was. I guess there really wasn't anything that we did wrong or couldn't have done in that in that uh, mission. Yeah. And that and very lucky, too. It just happened to be very lucky with that Thay, because the Thay is one that could have fucking erased one of us instantly, but no, we actually it got quite I guess. That. Yeah, we did, yeah. $1,100, I think that might be our best ever. I, I know the best we've gotten before today was like a thousand something, but I think that was because of a weekly challenge. I don't uh, think we that, definitely uh... have different challenges, because I only got 990. Oh, really? Yeah, same here. Interesting. So they're randomized for everybody, I guess. Well? Huh. Yeah, oh. my challenge is... Oh, go ahead, Alex. By the way, time out of favorite room, 24 seconds. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, that's, that would make sense. It took a while, I think, for that second salt to, to go through on the way out of the garage, which I was yeah. trying to put in front of the garage, but my controller wouldn't let me do it, so I just threw it there at the bottom of the threshold. Yeah, similarly, I didn't... I, I put that motion sensor just outside of the garage. I wanted to put it in the garage, but when the uh, stuff was going on, I figured, like, yeah, better not to risk it. So yeah. I just left it outside the garage, and it did not trigger it for, like, almost the entire game. Oh, okay. Interesting. We doing random? Oh, random sounds good to me. Oh, it's because it said random on my screen. Maybe it defaulted to that. I, I thought one of you guys set it to random. I'm sorry. Oh, it well, was set on random on my screen, but I didn't have the option to ready up, so then I went to the actual map selection and hit random, and then it gave me the option to ready up. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm fine with it if you guys are. It doesn't matter to me. Thanks, the hope. I... What do you think, Pinkerton? I'd be good with random, but at the same time, it's going to give me one of the maps that I don't like, but I'm <laughs> going to ready up anyway. All right, let's just leave it to chance. We'll uh, it I'm... To fate, and then I'll, uh, I'll rig the system next time. <laughs> well, realistically, I, I... the only ones where I just go like, oh, fuck, would be the asylum or the giant campsite. And conveniently enough, we got the asylum. <laughs> I For told you. To see now, I told you. I like this map a lot. Actually, I guess I'm the only one. Uh, I, I'm I like fine the atmosphere. With it, that map is a pain in the ass. That many. Maps. It's it's difficult to navigate. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I I like the atmosphere and I like some of the scares that we've had in here. Like getting away from the ghost has proven pretty easy in this map because it's so yeah. big. Um, and I know Pink wasn't having fun, but I I think it's very memorable that if occasion we, where Pink was in the basement that whole time. If we had oh, that, that was it, intense. Well, that, we, yeah, that was a that was, that was rough. Time. If we had that incident on a smaller, medium-sized map, Pink wouldn't have made it out. No, no, God, no. It would have it erased Mike, and, and it would have erased Pink. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm lucky in that the only map, literally, really, the only map I don't like is the big campsite. Yeah, that I, one... I, I, that one's screwy. I, my understanding is that one was always considered screwy. Them throwing in the log walls was a trying to put a Band-Aid on it, but even now it's still yeah. screwy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with both of those comments, yeah, because it didn't used to have the walls, and, and so it was very difficult to understand what the hell a room was, because walls are needed to delineate a room, traditionally. Yeah, 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 <laughs> which is how you sometimes get screw-ups, like in that map, map we were just on, Ridgeview, where the little, uh, the little dining room and living room areas, which are conjoined, and there's no wall separating them, are nonetheless considered separate rooms for the ghost to haunt. Right, right, yeah, the living room and the dining room, and that's also the house that has that weird, tiny little, I don't, see how it's a room, but that little tiny area where you just walk in the house and it's got, like, a little table there. That's a room. 
Okay, I'm going to, uh, from the jump... What should I do from the jump? I see... I... Yeah, that's my dream. Do you see that? I, I was hoping oh. you'd notice that. Oh my god, no, I wasn't looking at that, but now I see it. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought you were looking at me, yeah. You were like, okay, Mike, that's, yeah, that's my drift. I can't normally turn my character that smoothly. Yeah. At your spine. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, that I'm bent backwards, that's right. So I look like a, oh god, what would I look like? Like some kind of like turntable type of thing then, wouldn't I? Like like yeah. I'm literally like rotate. <laughs> that's got to be a funny mental image. Oh, I mean, it's a not a image. mental image, it's right in front of me. <laughs> funny visual image. <laughs> <laughs> so my character is just literally staying in place while, while, while turning yeah. in a circle. Yeah, Hank, look at him. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> At least you know I'm not lying about the drift. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a little bit too consistent for human muscle control. <laughs> I wish I could. I'll have to watch your video. Whoever posts this, I'll have to check it out because that sounds very funny. All right, yeah, enough of that. Oh, okay. now there's that one. Now there's that stick drifting. Good lord. Go ahead and keep talking. I'm just gonna drift until we're ready to go. <laughs> I I don't know what the hell to do on this map. This map's so fucking huge. Uh, it is. Oh, I need to be the one to find fuse box on this map, don't I? Because this map. Oh is yeah, up. we have to look first. That's right. This is the goofy map. Yeah, I'll grab. Uh... All right, who wants the shit thermostat and who wants the quality one? I want the quality one. So let me go ahead and grab. <laughs> there you go. Wait a minute, you hated that, didn't? Oh, you said you don't want the quality one. I said I I want the quality one. And oh, I you have do. The quality one in my hand right now. No, you don't. You you're a liar. The quality one's the purple one. That's the one you I, want. I'm, t I'm telling nothing but truth right now. Uh -huh. This man is full of deceit. <laughs> you, you liar. <laughs> now, let's see. I'm going to take... Okay, I've got EMF, flashlight, and crucifix. I'm going to go up to the uh, fuse box room, and if I happen to run anything that sets off the EMF, I'll say, though I think it's fairly unlikely this isn't the most con consistent tool by nature. Right. Uh, did you say you're going upstairs? Did I hear incorrectly? Uh, it is it up. is upstairs. The fuse box is in upstairs. Fuse box me, is upstairs. Let me see. So I'm gonna have to go up there, hang a right, hang a left. Okay, it's pretty well the same room I was in the last couple times. Since you know where it's at, I'll let you do it because I still can't quite tell what you're. Oh, I think I might. Okay, it's not showing up as a green for me, but I see something that. I'm gonna wait box. until the fuse box is hit to enter the building. That way, I'm not depleting our sanity That's for no a good reason. Good idea, actually. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. Yeah. All right, That'd be a really yeah. good idea for this one so far in. Could you imagine if it, if it's demon and it happens to kill the one out of us that's inside the building that bankrolled the whole thing? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> I mean, that is a possibility. Um, okay, yeah, alternatively, imagine I walk in and immediately blood just gushes back out of the building like the fucking <laughs> Shining. Right? One of us just... turns to the other one, should we go in? <laughs> <laughs> Close the truck door, leave. Yeah, I just drive away. <laughs> I didn't see shit, did you? All right, well, yeah, I didn't see nothing. Well, we both know this is a spirit. <laughs> okay, fuse box is on. All right. All right. No EMF readings uh, going from the uh, front of the place to the far rear of the place. I'm going back to the truck, and I'm staying in the fucking truck. All right. I'm coming in hot. I'm looking. There we go. Oops, sorry. You're no, coming in hot. I'm coming on you. You're coming in hot. I'm coming in sexy. Mike, what are you coming in? Uh, hmm. I don't have anything on the ready for that. Coming in, uh, coming in, uh, coming in smooth. There you go. That works. I'm coming in smooth. There you go. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. You and your shit thermo, 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 thermo hmm. Anyways. Ther therm thermotator. Oh, the thermotator. Oh, it's God a thermotator. <laughs> Tells you the damn. temperature. I locked myself a good, nice, reasonable temperature. <laughs> There's a great uh, dialogue from Idris Elba's character in The Wire when he's uh, dressing down, metaphorically, not literally. Right, right. Uh, two really incompetent uh, dealers, well, not even dealers, but soldiers in his drug dealing organization. And he's telling them, like, they've really been screwing up, and these are two of the biggest dumbasses on the show. So he's telling them, All right, you two are giving me too many 40-degree days, you know that? Now, what I mean is, 40-degree day, that's nothing. 50-degree day, uh, you know, it's a 
people, it's fairly good. 60 degree day. Oh, people will be going out and grilling on a day like that. <laughs> you two are giving me too many 40 degree days. And then one of the two idiots steps up and says, All right, well, Stringer, don't you worry. We'll handle this job no problem. It's going to be like a 40 degree day. And Idris Elba just puts his face in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh,. Reached the point again in my second Cyberpunk playthrough where I've uh, gotten to the DLC. The DLC in the game opens up at a certain point in the storyline, and I've gotten it. And uh, uh, you have to do one fairly lengthy mission before uh, the just Elba character starts uh, becoming available. But uh, once he does, he, he's he's with you a lot. And uh, got to that point in the game, and I'm I'm remembering now from the last time I played that he's he's so fun to have in the game. He he he's Idris Elba is such a cool guy. There, he's one of those actors that things generally are improved by his presence. And honestly, yeah, I can't put my... I, I remember, I didn't know who the guy was. I found it after the fact, and I was like, oh, that's who that was. Uh, when I saw Prometheus, he plays the ship's captain in Prometheus, and he's only got a few scenes. Uh, and uh, I, I'm one of the few people who love Prometheus, and I walked away saying, like, you know, in addition to this, that, and the other thing that I liked about the movie, I really liked the ship's captain. Captain, rather. Yeah. He, didn't, uh, he didn't have to do or say a whole lot. He was kind of, like, perfunctory. Like, he was fine. I mean, obviously, as I'm saying, he acted well. But, like, the character, he didn't really have to do a whole lot. He didn't have to say a whole lot. But it's like, he, he seemed so compelling. Like, as a human being, it was like, I really liked that guy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, that's the great Idris Elba, and so far I've seen him in two things, and I really like him in both things. Yeah, I've, I've read the plot summary of Prometheus once, and while there's definitely parts of it that I read, and I'm like, huh? Idris's, <laughs> part, Idris's part did sound quite cool. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, I, I mean, again, like, he, he he's not like a, like, a, a, the character is not like a star character. I mean, again, he's just the ship's captain. Like, he's well, not my... the guy who's on the, not yeah, go ahead. Not th spoilers for Prometheus, I suppose, though the movie's now 10 years old. Uh, but spoilers for Prometheus, my understanding is he's effectively filling the same role for that cast that, uh, I think his name was Dallas, was yes. for the original Alien. Yes. Where he's the one that, like, seems to be the obvious hero, but, like, no, that is not his role in the plot. Yeah, I, I yes, I, I I think that's fair. Uh, I don't remember, and I could be remembering it correctly. I only saw it once, despite the fact that I really enjoyed it. I only saw it the once, so I can't remember for sure if he actually like goes down into the planet. Like like he, my memories, he's kind of like more watching like the charts and stuff from the ship. Like he doesn't get his hands too dirty, but I know that he's. He, he he definitely plays like a central role though. It's like it's clear that he's an important character, even though he is essentially just the ship's captain. Yeah. So you might be right. He actually might get I, I know he doesn't he's not there in the end, so something kills him. I actually can't remember uh, his death scene. Uh he makes him and the other pilots make the choice to sacrifice oh, themselves the by ramming the ship. Yeah. Right. I had forgotten that. Yep. And it doesn't the ship doesn't the ship then crush uh uh, what's her name from Mad Max? Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron, who just, who for some reason decides to run away from the ship rather than sideways. I, 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 I have to admit that as much as I love the movie, I also, you know, I didn't even know that was like a meme. Like everyone else is like, why, why do you fucking run straight instead of running sideways when a ring-shaped object is rolling to you? And it's like, yeah, I have to admit that stood out to me, and I was a fan of the fucking movie. So, yeah, can't really, can't really excuse that one. Yeah, it's a little bit screwy. Uh, the ghost activity is all over the place, by the way. Oh, it, really? I uh, haven't seen anything. I neither, have gotten nothing. I'm going neither downstairs of your, now. Both of your sanities are still good, so none of you have probably it, none of you have been near the ghost when it's been doing things. I've had no temperatures, uh, nothing but warmth, so that would make sense. This is one of the maps where it's going to take a long time by necessity. Mm -hmm. We kind of got lucky in that last one, where it's just down the left of the main hallway, if I recall correctly. Yeah. That's the one where I went in and tempted it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I'm going back in. I, I have enough space to run, then it shut the door behind me. <laughs> I didn't realize that it could shut the door from behind, and I yeah. was trapped. I'm gonna, uh, be re but... I'm gonna be real here. If we want to do the drugs to make it more affordable, it, the mirror is the cursed oh, object. The, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Um, it's hard to well, say. Well, that's a pull, not a push, okay. <laughs> I was like, why hold this door open? It happens sometimes. The ghost this... is on the other side holding it closed. Oh, that'd be that'd be scary if the ghost could do that. That'd be wild. Can't get the door open, you're pulling, 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 pushing, push, push, and then finally it throws open and there's the ghost. I'm gonna step out for oh, just a second. Oh, I, the got, cat I got the ghost through. room. I got the ghost oh, room. Oh, you do? Okay. Uh, you, you go ahead, Alex. I'll try and find uh, where Pink is. 
I just sit there. One of the hallways. I need to let the cat into her uh, litter box room. Yeah, I do that for the poor kitty. Uh, Pink, are you? It, uh, it's the blood room. Oh, the blood. Uh, is there like a trail of blood coming out of the room? Yes, trail of blood coming out of the room. There's the electric kit chair device. Oh, it's room. where it's got the. It's chair. covered in gore and blood and whatnot. You're you're off of the main hallway, right, or what feels like the big long hallway? One of them. I think so. Yeah. So it's if... the big long hallway. I, uh... I'm making my way back to you, babe. I and, was just uh, gonna say. <laughs> let's see. I don't know what's a good landmark. There's a blue chair here, if that makes any sense. A in the room chair. or out in the hall? Out in the hallway. Out okay. The hallway. Uh, Never... let's see. Okay, I've made it to the stairway that I came down from. Oh, you went. You you took some stairs. Okay, then it's yes, on the, I'm uh, on the uh, bottom oh, floor. Bottom okay. Floor. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. I I did not know that, so I I I was wondering how you found the room because I I went down all the all the hallways on the end that I think you're on. Uh, this this okay. This hallway door is closed, so I'm guessing you're not on this side. I will run the direction I think you're going to be in. Let's see. Uh, yeah, go to the main lobby. Oh, is it downstairs from the main lobby? Yes, downstairs from the main lobby. Okay, I'm heading that. I'm downstairs, but I'm heading in that. Okay, direction. I'm back. Okay. Where uh, were you in our time of need? <laughs> letting a cat take a piss. That is very important. Hey, fair. Uh, Alex, uh, could you do us a favor and look at the map and see where we're? Uh... Oh wait, uh, I think I saw pink. Were you flashing your flashlight? I'm always flashing my flashlight, but uh. I don't oh see no, maybe yet. not. Uh, yeah, we're trying to find the same room, Alex. I'm wandering around the hall. In fact, I'll turn in a circle so you know which one I am. Uh, Pink, are you just spinning? I was. Oh, you're spinning? I'm not looking. Yeah, uh, uh here, Pink, I... oh. you're... Pink is really close to the entrance. Pink can just leave right now, actually. Oh. Yeah, I, I walked back out into the main lobby. That way we'd get a oh, better you walked understanding. Out. Mike, you no, need to get out no, now. Not out, but I'm over in the main Mike, lobby right you, now. Mike, you need to get out now. I'll go to where I think the door is. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Okay, because I just had a ghost event. Yeah, well, uh, your sanity is showing it. Shit. Oh, I see the room. I, oh, God. Okay, it was out of its room. That's no good. I see the blue wheelchair. All right, yeah, get back here, get back here. Uh, you're both, you're both gonna have to do drugs, Mike. You're gonna have to do double drugs. Really? Yep. Okay, shit. Fuck, I went the wrong way. Uh, this, I'm I, down this the could be going. To shine my beamer at you. Oh, uh, I found some stairs. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, as long as I'm up off that bottom floor, I feel safe. Thanks, though. I appreciate you. You trying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that that's a gory ass room. This game is. I don't want to say, like, lighthearted, because you die and you get all crinkly when your corpse gets fucked up, but uh, just uh, how gory that room is, that's that's pretty hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, generally speaking, they try to shoot for horror in very deliberately mundane settings. But there is that yeah. one room in the asylum that's just really fucked up. See, like, and the fact that the ghost is in there... No, go ahead, Alex. Like, there, there's a reason that we keep joking that, that here the orderlies were eating the patients. <laughs> that's kind of what i like though is that uh, actually i like it a lot because that goes back to what i was going to say or what i have said in the past which is that i i wish that in these maps uh the ghost's room would always be gory to suggest that you know the yeah, murder happened here that's why there's a ghost something horrible happened and in this case this is the one case out of all our playthroughs where the ghost room is actually a gory bloody room yeah so i think that's cool Okay, you need to do uh, double drugs, Mike. I, I definitely at least need to do one. Do you think I should use a second I one? Think you... One is going to bring me up to like 70 or 80, won't it? I think they're about 30 a pop. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I only will be up to about 70. That is a little on the low side. Yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. The team average should still be pretty good, though, even if you only take one. Sure, but we don't want to know... It's still important for everybody to keep their sanity up just to prevent the average from going low. Although you do help with the average, Alex, the fact that you stay in the truck, that, that does give us a, kind of balances things out a little bit. Yeah, it depends on the map. Small maps, having a guy in the truck is less important to the sanity, because the sanity on small maps is just generally great anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Did down there with... Did uh, I took two of them, yeah. Although there was one okay, already missing. I was about to say, wow, that one single use was pretty effective. You're at 100% <laughs> now. He didn't just stop with the bottle. He ate the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> stuck down every last drop. Uh, did you grab a crucifix? 
I did. <laughs> and I've got a journal and a uh, UV light, so... Then I will bring the uh, EMF. Uh, what were you laughing at, Alex? There's a gag in 30 Rock where uh, Alec Baldwin and another work friend of Tina Fey's character go to Tina Fey's place to eat pizza after a hard day of work, and it's at the end of an episode, and the characters are all pretty worn down. So to try and lift everybody's spirits, uh, Tina Fey with a pizza slice in, uh, in one hand and uh, Wait, beer in the, the other. Cut. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go hit the light and see. Sorry, Alex. Yeah, the break is oh, off. Yeah, we got to have priorities. The gameplay stuff is more urgent. But the, uh, yeah, with a pizza slice in one hand, a beer in the other, she says, uh, all right, hey, want to watch me shotgun this? And Alec Baldwin goes, oh, yeah. And then Tina Fey puts the beer down, puts the pizza slice with the rest of the pizza, and picks up an entire pizza, folds it up into a ball, and the screen cuts to black as Alec Baldwin and the other guy shout, oh, God, she meant the pizza. She's unhinging her jaw. <laughs> I didn't know the show was that kind of wacky humor. Uh, it's a little bit serious for the first couple episodes when they're finding their footing, but they find they really enjoy the more absurd humor. And oh. the, the show really digs in on that in large stretches. I would not have guessed that. Okay. Yeah. It's one of those shows where they clearly evolve. Like, you can tell so many you know, sitcoms like that evolve because they will always start with the protagonist being reasonable straight man who's not all that weird. And then only a few episodes later, they're like, okay, we've decided that the protagonist is as much of a freak as the others. <laughs> Because Tina Fey's yeah. character goes from generally being the wise straight man of the comedy to horrible freak that unhinges her jaws to consume whole pizzas in <laughs> one gulp. Um, I think I know the way to the breaker. I, I would like to try and get a still good shot of it, but as you see, my character won't fucking stand still. <laughs> 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 this is funnier? What's happening now? You're, it's the fact that you're still just giving a blank-eyed stare as you spin in play. Like, like you almost... I almost expect you to be like a, a, a camera in a stealth game. Where every, you know, time you turn X amount of degrees, you make a, like, beep noise. <laughs> I'm imitating the cameras we can actually put down in the game. Or like a sentry gun in Alien, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can picture that for sure. My eyes will shoot, like, laser beams or something. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, how close am I to the breaker? Oh, fuck. Uh, keep going, keep going. Uh, door on your right. Okay, on your right, it's on the wall, it's a little bit raised right. up there, there's a lever. There you go. Excellent, okay, someone's picked up the camera. Okay. I have. I'm we gonna are try and find the room. Uh, our average is still in the high nineties. If, if you're in the lobby, it's actually really easy to access the ghost room. Down the stairs, right? Yeah, down the stairs, and it's like a take a left or a right. I don't remember which one. I'll know when I get there. Uh, do you see me, Alex? Yeah. Good news, everyone. The map is properly working today. Good. What a relief. I Hope. think I need to go right. Yes. I think. Am I going in the right direction? From what you can tell. Yeah, I think I might even be able to see the blue wheelchair on the detailed map. I see a little splotch of blue really? that might be on the wheelchair, yeah. Am I looking it... at it right now? Uh, holy shit, where is Pink? Oh, Pink, what, what are you asking for? Am I looking at the blue wheelchair right now? Oh, you're downstairs. Uh... No, I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs. There's a blue wheelchair upstairs that oh, leads yes, down yes. to the stairway. Yes, I see a blue wheelchair there where you were where you were dancing. All right, I've seen a little red oh, blip yeah, on the map in the jig. Wheelchairs. Okay, yeah, because uh, I see several little blue wheelchair splotches in that hallway. Uh, pink, other direction. Other direction. All right, let yeah. me close this door. I now know my way around, so I'm good. It is in the basement east wing. That sounds about right. Uh, that light is turned on, but it's still orbs, dark. Scorbs, so. scorbs. Excellent. Is that our only piece of evidence so far, though? Out of all that sanity, we've only got the one, right? I well, it took would... us a while to find the room. It, took it us did. A long time to find the room, yeah. Boy, it's not that room. Hang on. We, we do still have one drug left, for what it's worth. Okay. I'm going to place down the journal. I'm going to check the temperatures. All right. Just above freezing. 
Ugh, that nonsense again. Oh, wait, you're using the bad thermometer, though. Yeah, I'll the use the good one that works. Yeah, I'll yeah, not hand you I was us. already using the good thermometer. I don't know what you're talking about. Holy God in heaven. And the thing that's it's great is that I bet you the tier ghost 3... Ghost riding, ghost riding. Uh, oh. I'm going to go ahead and... uh, Let's... Mayor Revenant Thay. Okay. Oh, okay. So I thought Demon was still on the table. I forgot we had Gorbs. <laughs> uh, so, no Ultraviolet, no EMF. Don't bother taking those in. So it'll be Temps, Spirit Box, or the Dots. Yeah, which Dots because I can the peep on the... the thing. Uh, I can peep Dots on the projector. Uh, Thay, I have to wonder as long as we're... Oh, I think I just got Dots. I think I just got Dots. Pink, where are you? I'm up in the lobby. I'm I totally just got Dots, then. You, are you sure you did? I saw it out the corner of my eye while I was also looking at the monitors. I saw somebody butt their head in and the dots. Oh, yep, super dots, super dots. Okay, then it's Thay again. We Extra got dots. Thay twice in a row. The double Thay. Uh, well, that's, again, very lucky, I think. It's very lucky that, Mike, you were able to get out of there so quickly when your sanity dropped below 45, because there's no... Oh, we yeah. Because we probably came pretty close to a hunt. It's difficult to sure. say, because we probably were also aging the ghost pretty rapidly with all our wandering around. It does occur to me, the Thay is probably way deadlier on the small maps and way weaker on the big maps, because we're probably just artificially aging the shit out of it. That could be. Yeah, because the last match we had, they started off, like, doing super everything active. super active, and this one, Alex said he was super active at the start, Yeah, but we never saw him for a yeah. long-ass time. Yeah, yeah, and, and by the time we were seeing him, the activity meter was already going down. Yep. So that's just the phase gimmick. Here I am with both of my sticks fucked up. I I noticed you just going nuts, rubbing your dick on the walls. <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm gonna try to get both of them to be really like obvious. Where I, yeah, here we go. So I'm so I'm. Wait, hang on. Like like my character's moving on his own. He's or she on her own. She's going in the wrong direction. Okay, yeah, there we go. You can't see it now because I'm looking straight up. She's already reached the top of that that. Whatever. I oh, I'm seeing whatever. plenty. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to try to get her to where she she looks either up or down while also walking in circles. But it, it almost seems like only one will get fucked up at one time. Hmm. Or maybe it just looks that way because she's also walking. Like like for, from my oh wait I think I might have had it. Yeah. No, okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now my character's slowly turning and 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 she she's both walking and turning the camera at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, we can go anytime. I'm just fucking around <laughs> trying to have some fun with this bullshit. Yeah, the last two challenges, get a picture of the ghost, get an average sanity below 25%. I'm not interested in the average sanity below 25% one. Yeah, the photo definitely of not. The photo of the ghost uh, is just going to be a pain in the ass, because since it's they... It could, yeah. S since it's they, the longer we spend in there trying to get a picture, the harder it's going to get to the take a picture. The harder it's going to be. Because the they's just going to get more and more shy the longer we're in there. Right. Wait, I got a picture of it. It didn't count? That sucks. I got a picture of its elbow. Like, I barely got a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, like, like it was hiding behind... Did you see... It, it, I don't know if you can see it. it, it, it there's, like, a like a, like a a shower curtain-looking thing. Like, a stand-up yeah. shower curtain thing. Yeah, the thing is behind it. If you look close, you can see its arm. Like, its I, yeah, elbow is sticking through it. Yeah, see that? Yeah, that should have counted. I got a picture of it. Clearly, that's skinny. a good boost. <laughs> it's very skinny. Honestly, I think that would be a case where it's like, we need a better photo camera. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's a, there ain't no fake in that. That's clearly a ghost. That, right. that, there's no way that's like somebody just like behind a thing. I have circled. That's not possible. Oh, let me. Oh, I think I already got Faye. Yeah, I have, right. It's not possible. That that picture is just as good as anything you'd see on Ghost Hunters. That is totally yeah. a ghost picture. That's that's probably <laughs> better than the pictures you see on Ghost Hunters. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm good. I got Faye. Oh, Jesus. Don't throw books. Oh, I'm sorry. I just kicked my cat. I'm sorry, baby. I think I kicked you. Are you okay? Aw. I either kicked her or disturbed her. Hi, baby. Spit guard on my microphone has just suddenly decided to fall over. Is, is it a spit guard or is it a, uh, like one of those noise canceling foam things? I can't remember what those are called. It's uh, a spit pop guard. filter. Pop okay. filter. It's both, I think. I don't know. Okay. Fuck! While we're getting ready to go on to the next map, I'm going to grab some more candy, some Christmas candy. I'll be right back. 
I'd love some candy. Are you going to share? Have you circled? No, Thay you work at a grocery store. What? Oh, have you circled Thay? Uh, yes. Okay. What I was saying is, you work at a grocery store. You get all the candy. This is true. <laughs> Actually, I have a story about but that. It's not free. Really... It's true. It's not. Well, unless you steal it, but you, you should probably keep your job. Yeah, it's harder to steal candy now that I don't work in the candy department. Oh, <laughs> steal some fruits. I don't think they it only ever drop well. onions in my milk department. So, uh... <laughs> well, onions are good, but I don't know that I would necessarily just stuff my pockets with them. Right, because because then you walk away smelling funny on top of it, and it just doesn't work out. No, it's it's just kind of embarrassing at that point. 